Hi, I'm Ben with Apt, and today we're going to unbox the Lifestyle Sound Touch 535 by Bose. It's a new 5.1 home theater system that features their new wireless Lifestyle Sound Touch system that can be used across your entire house. So let's uh, open it up and see what's inside the box. We're going to start by cutting the tape on the top and on the sides. There we go. I'm just going to slide this over. So right on top, we have a piece of paper that is Bose's Our Commitment to You page, and it looks like I accidentally cut that with the scissors there, but uh, that's just uh, their commitment to you. Under that, we've got a big box here, and it looks to be um, probably their hideaway control unit. Right on top, we have the Acoustamass audio input. That's going to be used for your wireless subwoofer. Underneath that, we have uh, a setup guide for the whole system. Very important. Let's move some of this uh, cardboard out of the way. And here's that hideaway control console I was talking about. So this is kind of your central unit for the whole system. And as you can see on the back here, we have a whole lot of ports. We've got uh, optical, component, HDMI. So this is kind of the central unit for the entire system. So very important right there. And we've also got uh, a little how to enable Bluetooth on the system. Important if you want to stream music or anything like that. Also included is a high-speed HDMI cable, which is uh, going to be used to hook this up to your TV or whatever system you've got going on. So that's uh, it's a nice cable that's included. And then the last thing in that main box we have is the power supply for that central control module. So once that first box is out of the way, we can start on some of the other ones. Right here we have the line cord kit. So we'll open that up. And pretty big box, but only a couple things in here. So looks like uh, really just two power cords. So pretty simple. I think all these power cords are pretty universal. You can use them for any parts of the system that takes a power cord. Underneath that, we have one big box and two smaller boxes. We'll start with the smaller boxes. They're all labeled. So that first box was one. Then this bigger one is two, which is the wireless sub, but we'll start on three because it's going to be a little bit easier to manage. All right, so we got that tape cut. Or maybe we don't. Oh, there we go. All right. So inside of this box, it looks like we have our five speakers for that five in the 5.1 system. So take these out of the box for you. Oops. All right. So these are packaged very nicely, and there they are. So they're good-looking speakers, pretty small, but they get uh, great quality sound out of them. And in the back, you just have a spot for a power cord there. And speaking of the power cords, here they are. Or actually, these are the speaker cables for the front. And then we got the speaker cables for the rear. So let's take those out and take a look and see what those look like. So here those are. So you've got uh, this on one end that's going to plug into the central control unit and then the speaker end here that's going to plug into the speaker. So I was mistaken about that being a power cord that's actually for the speaker cord. So we'll put that there. And then so these all match but they're color coded so you can color code uh, the speaker wire to the spot on the control unit that it goes so you know where to put your speakers.
And then, so those are all the front speakers. There's uh, those three cords there. And then we have the rear speakers right here. So we'll open one more of these, but these are all pretty much the same. So you can get a general idea and then we'll move on. Because this one is the center channel speaker. So that's going to go right in the front there. So as you can see, basically the same size, but you've got uh, front and rear and then your center channel. So I'm going to just kind of push this off over here. And we'll move on to the next item in the box. And that next item is going to be that wireless subwoofer. That's going to be really important for all those low notes. If you're watching any, you know, action movies or anything with a lot of explosions, this is going to be great. So go ahead and take this out. All right, so this guy is packaged up very nicely. Keep it protected. There it is. It's a rather large subwoofer. That's going to give you those great bass notes. I mean, it's a very big size, so that's great. So I'm going to take this last box out and then move this bigger one out of the way so you can see better. Make sure there's nothing left in here. Yep, nope. All right, so we have that last box, which is number four box. And there's, all the accessories are included in here. So the first thing we have is the operating guide. That's gonna be important. Figure out how to operate this system. And we've got a remote control, which is gonna be a universal remote control. That's gonna help you control everything. And on the top here, we got a little LCD screen. I'm going to show you what source you're on and make it really easy to control the system. The next thing we have is the Adaptique Audio Calibration System. Now, this thing is really cool. I'm going to show it to you and kind of explain how it works. So now we got the cellophane off. Open this box up and pop it out of its packaging. Nothing else in there. So this is almost like a little headset that you can wear around the room to different locations in, in uh, where you'd be sitting or standing in the room. And it's going to actually calibrate the system based on where you are. So it's going to give you the best possible sound for wherever you're going to be sitting in the room. So that's a neat little feature. Under that, we have a wireless adapter, also very important for this system. So the uh, Lifestyle Sound Touch system is going to hook up with the other Bose products and allow you to have kind of sound everywhere in your house. And this feature is going to allow it to connect to your Wi-Fi network to make that happen. So here's that unit. Pretty small, you can really put it anywhere. It's got an Ethernet port on the back so you can plug it right into your network. And there's also four AA batteries that come with the remote. I forgot about those, but those go right with that remote there. And then we've got a bunch of cords. So the first thing is, uh, looks like an AM antenna used for the system if you want to listen to the radio. Additionally, there's an FM antenna. Get those FM channels as well. You've got your stereo audio cable, this red, white, red, white. And your IR emitter, so you can kind of plug this in and put it somewhere where your remote can see it. If you're uh, you put that hideaway console in a drawer or something. And then the last thing is a USB cable, USB to micro USB. All of these units have, a, or most of them have a micro USB port on the back, so you can calibrate the system. So that's everything that comes in the box. As you can see, it's quite a lot, um, and that's the Bose Lifestyle Sound Touch 535. 
Be sure to check it out on app.com and like, comment, and subscribe on our YouTube channel.